Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. The video you're about to watch is from my online tutorial series on Spring Core. You can uh, check out more from my website, springframework.guru, and you'll be able to find a link to the course there. This is just a sample for you to check out. Uh, it tells you all about some of the advanced features in auto wiring beans within the Spring Framework. Hope you enjoy it. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today we're going to talk about some of the advanced auto wiring configuration options that we have available to, for our use in Spring Framework. I've got this example that we've been working with here that has a little Hello World service and in it I've wired up several different implementations of it. So uh, just as a quick review, we have our Hello World service that implements this interface and then we have a series of beans that produce a, a string for Hello World. So now in our configuration, I'm using a factory pattern to produce a bean of each one. And I'm going to show you what happens when I run this. We can see that the, the spring context fails to load. It, it errors out on a runtime error. If I scroll over a little bit, I can see that it found five different uh, beans here matching the description. And, and that's accurate as to what happened here. So I've got five Hello World services defined. It did not pick up this one because of a different profile. And in my greeting controller, I'm only auto wiring by, by that type. So we are using auto wire by type and Spring doesn't know which one we want to inject into that class. So we have a very convenient way to, to work with it. We can do We can annotate this with at primary. And now if I run this, we can see that we get hello world produced again. So if I were to change our, our configuration, our active profile over Spanish and run it again, we're going to get the same error that we saw before. Again, because now we have an active profile of English, when we ran it, with the English active profile, it didn't look at Spanish. So if I also annotate this one as primary, and Spring will now be happy and, and run again. Okay, so let's change this back to English. I want to show you some of the other controls that we have. Let's take a look at a, a German example. So if I run this, what I've done is I added another German. Now we see that it uh, put in the same bean. So what we need to do here, we have one option. We can change the type to the concrete type of the German implementation. Now we can see that we got the, the German hello world. And in both these cases we're using auto wire by type. So the top case we are coding to an interface, hello world service English implements that interface as well as the German one does. But in this case we're asking for the concrete type so Spring knows uh, to wire it up by type. Well we really don't want to be, be doing that. It would be much better for us to maintain using the interface type and allow Spring to to do the configuration. So what we can do is we can do a qualifier. We are going to auto wire by name. Over here, the default behavior of Spring in the Java configuration is to name the beans with the name of the method that declares them. So that has that's how Spring works by default. So if I do an auto qualifier here of German, and I've, I've changed back to using the interface type, and we'll see how Spring will, will pick this up using by name. Now we can also wire up beans by name uh, through the configuration too, the Java configuration. We can come over here and give the bean a name. And this is sometimes more friendly. Oops. This can be friendlier than using the, the method names. So now I have a bean named just French. 
And if I come over here to my greeting controller and let's do a we'll just do another property for now when I go to run it we'll see three greetings uh, produced by spring so now we have hello world in English German and French and I want to want you to look here uh, the English version is being injected by type the German version is using by name and the French is using by name as well but I have a couple different configurations here here the German version is being derived from the method name that declares the bean in the Java configuration while the French I'm actually declaring the name here so that changes how the name is referenced within the spring context and again just for review purposes I've set the English version as primary which is why when auto wiring by type the Russian and Polish beans are ignored. This gives you a lot of control over how you can wire up your beans within the spring framework. So from this demonstration I hope that you can see how powerful de dependency injection is with spring and all, all the options that you have to compose your classes so you can have a, a lot of different options uh, available to you as to how you compose your application at runtime. When you're doing enterprise application development you're going to have a lot of different things that you're going to wire up depending on the environment you're deploying to. So locally you might run against an H2 database and an embedded ActiveMQ broker and then when you deploy it into production you're going to be running against an Oracle database and uh, maybe MQ series. So uh, all these are different configurations that you can wire up. In doing this you're going to be able to use these tools that I've shown you here not only in dependency injection and auto wire, but also using primary and profiles and also uh, naming of beans.